Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to show you how to set up your new iPad. If you just pulled it out of the box, unwrapped it, what you're going to do is hold this button here on the top. That will turn on the iPad. Should you want to shut it off, you can do it the same way. So we'll go ahead and set this down here. It will boot up and bring you to the main screen. So give it just a moment here and it will turn on and ask you to walk through the setup for the first time. And we'll do that together. So we'll just wait for it to start up here. Now, this is the 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi model. This is not the 3G or LTE version on Verizon, AT&T, or any other carrier. It's only Wi-Fi. And that's, for me, fine. I don't really need uh, to be on 3G as far as that goes. I have Wi-Fi pretty much everywhere. So you're going to slide to unlock. And we'll go ahead and select our language. If you don't like English or Spanish, you can select another language below by hitting the bottom. Go ahead and hit next, though, with this little arrow in the top. Again, select your country. If you're not in the United States, tap on Show More and select your country. In this case, it's asking me if I want to enable location services. Location services allow, well, this says, maps and other apps to gather and use data uh, indicating your approximate location. So what that means is if you're using iPhoto or a photo application, you take a picture at your home, it'll actually tag that picture as taken at your home. Uh, because it knows your location. If you're in Yellowstone National Park, it will know that location for the most part and tag the photos taken there and other applications as well if you're posting to Twitter. If you don't like that idea, simply disable it. If you do, enable it and then hit next. So here it's looking for my Wi-Fi network or at this point we can set up using iTunes. I like to do it by itself. It's going to ask me for the password. I have this password protected, so I'll go ahead and enter the password. I've entered the password, my Wi-Fi network is connected, and now I can push next. Now it's going to activate my iPad, it did that. Now here's the options you have, set up as a new iPad, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes backup. In this case, I want this to be set up as a new iPad, so we'll go ahead and hit next. If you restore from the iCloud backup, it will simply ask you for your me username address. So that means your mobile me address. If you don't have one, you can set it up, but you wouldn't restore in that case, or you can restore from iTunes. So let me go ahead and hit next. And here it says sign in with an Apple ID or create one. Let me go ahead and sign in. I've signed in with my Apple ID and it brings me to this screen. Once I hit next, I can either agree or disagree. If I disagree, really can't use the iPad. So go ahead and agree. Yes, I agree. It may take a few minutes to set up your iPad or your Apple ID. I already have one, so it should be pretty well set up. Waiting for it to load here. There we go. So now we have the option to use iCloud. In my case, I'm going to use it, but what iCloud does is allows it to automatically back up to the cloud, sync documents over the cloud, and the cloud is basically storage in the internet or on the internet. So basically you're taking a picture, it's uploading to Apple's data centers. Uh, they have one in North Carolina and California. It stores your information securely there. Other people cannot view it. And what it does is allows you to download it to your computer automatically, to your iPhone automatically, iPod Touch. It's pretty nice. But if you don't want those features, simply don't use it. In this case, I do want to use it. So I'm going to hit Use and hit Next. Do you want to back up to the iCloud or to or back up to iCloud or back up to my computer? In this case, it's pretty simple. If you selected iCloud, you want to back up to it. It's free. Why not? So we'll go ahead and back up to iCloud. It will do that. And if I have a problem with my iPad or if I get a new iPad, I can simply back everything back onto it. You can do that with your computer as well, but I like the iCloud idea. Now, do you want to use Find My iPad? You don't have to use this, but I like this. So should someone steal my iPad, I can log into the website at me.com or iCloud.com, which is the new version of that. It'll basically point you to iCloud and you can check where your iPad is located. But you do need location services turned on that we covered previously for this to work. So I'll go ahead and use that. That's fine with me. Next. Now, do we want to use dictation or not? Dictation is we can speak and it will understand what we're saying and write the text. So in my case, I definitely want to use that. And do we want to send diagnostic usage? This will use more of your data connection, not a whole lot, but should your iPad have a problem, it will automatically send that information to Apple. Uh, I actually don't have a problem with it, so I'm going to go ahead and automatically send. Register with Apple, that's fine too. 
and start using my iPad. There's my iPad. It's set up, ready to go, and I'll go ahead and use it. Check back for more videos similar to this for easy tips on things uh, you can do with your iPad, how to use it, and uh, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.